Igor's lab named a possible reason for the connectory flow on RTX 4090. Igor's lab recently published an article discussing the melting of 16-pin NVIDIA 12 VHPWR power connectors on the RTX 4090 and the reasons they are melting. Igor claims that the reason for the meltdown is due to a poorly designed NVIDIA adapter from 8-pin to 16-pin, and not to the standard 16-pin power connector itself. He says the NVIDIA adapter is poorly designed, to the point where it can damage the 16-pin connection. Igor discovered that the thick wires running from all four 8-pin connectors connect directly to the six 12 volts pins on the 16-pin adapter, the remaining ground pins. This in itself is not a big problem, but he says that the problem lies in very poor soldering. The solder is incredibly small, and the base is only 0.2 mm thin copper with a width of 2 mm per incoming wire. This means that the NVIDIA solder pins may be too small to keep the 8-pin wires connected even under normal bends, which can lead to uneven connections between them. If you look at the images, you will immediately realize that the soldering looks substandard. He goes on to say that simply removing the top layer of solder causes the connection to break immediately. Based on these findings, it is impossible not to question the continued use of the supplied NVIDIA Quadrupus adapters with RTX 4090 cards. If possible, owners should replace the adapter with a suitable 16-pin cable designed for direct connection to the power supply. A third party, higher quality adapter made in accordance with higher standards should be sufficient. The RTX 4090 adapter which is part of the kit that tape partners receive from NVIDIA along with the GPU and GDDR6X memory, seems to be the main factor and the problem under consideration. If it cannot be replaced, avoid any bends near the 16-pin connector on the NVIDIA 8-pin adapter. You'll probably have to remove the side panel from the case, but it's better to have a non-enclosed PC case than a damaged $1,600 GPU. He also added that NVIDIA has already been informed about these problems with the 8-pin to 16-pin power adapter, so we may see an announcement from NVIDIA about fixing the problem soon. NVIDIA will most likely abandon the original adapters and replace them with a new version that will be much more reliable.